Hi, welcome to the Castle Grounds Apiary. My name is Justin and I'm a beekeeper. Today, we're going to learn about the life cycle of the honeybee. Come in closer and take a look. In every beehive, there are three different types of bees. The worker bee, the drone bee, and the queen bee. Each bee has a specific job to do inside the hive. The queen bee is responsible for laying all the eggs. A strong queen will lay over 1,000 eggs in a single day. After three days, the bee egg will hatch into a larva. The larvae are fed hundreds of times a day by the nurse bees. On the ninth day, the larva has grown big and strong and is sealed inside its cell with wax and then begins the pupa stage. For 12 days, the pupa undergoes metamorphosis. They develop things like eyes, legs, wings, and the rest of their body parts. Finally, after 21 days since the egg was laid, an adult bee will emerge from its cell. The adult bee does this by chewing away the wax that had sealed it in. Now that the worker bee is born, it will live the next three weeks as a hive bee, having duties such as cleaning, feeding larva, and even feeding the queen. This stage is typically known as the nurse bee stage. After the worker bee has done nurse bee duties for three weeks, it begins its role as a field bee, doing things like guarding the hive and collecting nectar or pollen. These field bees are known as foragers. Field bee duties last for another three weeks before finally the bee dies of old age. And that is the life cycle of the worker honeybee. The end.